Here we have an ASUS laptop that came in for no power. What's new? We already disassembled the board, and the board looks something like this. Let's go ahead and inspect the board and see what's going on and why the board is not powering on. We're going to start with the DC connector, as usual. We have one MOSFET right next to the DC connector, but I know that we have another MOSFET on back of the board. And how do you know that? I know that based on my experience working on Asus laptops every day. You start to develop a pattern. We're going to measure for a short on the drain of this MOSFET, which is located on back of the board. And let's measure here. Now look at this. We have a short. We have a short circuit. Wow. Now, usually what I would do is inject voltage on the drain of the MOSFET, inject about 1.5 volts, and monitor the motherboard under a thermal camera and see what gets hot. That's what I usually do. But let's assume that we do not have a thermal camera, and we want to figure out the problem manually. Let's just say that we do not have a thermal camera. Give ourselves more work. The first thing I would do in a scenario like this is inspect the V-Core circuit. Because anytime we have a short circuit on the V-Core circuit, it usually shows up on the MOSFET that we just measured. This one here. So we're going to start with the V-Core circuit and see if we have a short circuit. And we'll take it from there. Assuming we don't have a thermal camera. But if it wasn't for this video, I would turn the thermal camera on and figure out the problem in one and a half seconds. Measure here. We do not have a short. We do not have a short. We do not have a short. Looks like the board want to play games with us. Today that we decided not to use the thermal camera, and now we do not have shorts on the V-Core circuit. The board want to play games. We are the kings of playing games. We're going to have to measure everything on the board and figure out where the short is coming from without injecting voltage and without using a thermal camera. Look at this, not a single V-Core MOSFET short into ground. And we know that none of the capacitors down on the bottom are short into ground because any short on any one of those caps will show up on the MOSFETs here, on the V-Core MOSFETs, and will show up on the MOSFET that we measured earlier, the DC power MOSFET. We have more MOSFETs on the side so let's continue with measuring. Oh, whoa. <laughs> wow, we have a short circuit here. Awesome. Wow, and we have one here too. I mean, what are the chances that we have two bad MOSFETs? Right now, it looks like we have two bad MOSFETs, or maybe one of them is causing a short on the other. We do not have a short here, and we do not have a short here. So right now, before we do anything else, we have to clear the short here. And then I'm going to have to give it to Big Boss to reassemble and test. If it does not work, then I'm going to have to do more testing. And we're going to go on with the video. But for now, we're not going to do anything, absolutely nothing, but tackle the short circuit on those two MOSFETs. We're going to start with MOSFET number one. Let me just do one thing quick. Meter in ohms mode. I'm reading 13 ohms here, which is very, very low, because if we measure here, we have 272K. But here, we have 13 ohms, actually 13.1 ohms to be exact. And here, we have 13.2 ohms. So this one is measuring lower resistance than this one here. I'm going to start with this MOSFET, the second one, because the resistance reading is lower. It makes sense to start with this one. Maybe this MOSFET is causing the short circuit on this one. If I remove this one and we still have a short, then we're going to have to remove this one as well and possibly replace both of them. I changed some settings on the camera 
some viewers are complaining about a lag in the recent videos. The lag is not there before I upload the videos to YouTube, but after YouTube renders the videos, then the lag happens. So I just modified some settings on the camera. Maybe YouTube does not like some of the settings that we have the video recorded at. So I modified some of the settings and we'll see how this one goes. MOSFET is out. And I also changed the angle of the camera. It's a split between viewers. Some viewers like the new angle and others do not. So let's alternate or maybe I'll just put two cameras and switch between them. For the time being, let's try the old angle and see how it works. You're not going to see any more depth of field, but a lot of viewers suddenly they like to see my bench, the tools on the bench, the oscilloscope that I never ever use, the power supply on the top of the shelf that I rarely use. All the sudden viewers missed looking at those tools. And back when I had the old angle, which I have on today, people were complaining about the messy desk. Now all of a sudden they miss the desk. They miss the bench. You can never save the world from complaints. Never. Let's measure now. Meter in diet mode. And we no longer have a short. You see? What about this one? <laughs> we no longer have a short. So we took an educated guess and we removed this one because we were measuring a lower resistance on this one than this. And removing this MOSFET cleared the short on the first one as well. Smart. Right? I'm a very smart person. That's what they tell me. It really does not take a genius to measure the resistance of this and this to see which one is lower. And that's what I did. And we showed the thermal camera that we do not need it. We do not need the thermal camera. Right now we can keep the solder that we already have here and solder a new MOSFET or a replacement MOSFET. Or we can add some more solder here. But honestly, we do not need to add solder. But let's do it to save the world from complaints. How would you know the blessing of not having any complaints if complaints did not exist in the world? You won't. How would you know the meaning of happiness if sadness did not exist? Or hunger? Or having an eyesight if you did not see a blind person? Or being thankful for your health if you did not see a sick person? And this cat is hungry for some solder. And I gave him some. Let's grab a MOSFET from a donor board, if we can find one, right here. And before we remove a MOSFET from this donor board, let's measure to make sure that we do not have a short to begin with. And we do not have a short. Let's grab one. And by the way, this video is being recorded at 30 FPS. I do not think that we need 60 FPS. It just makes the video bigger. I mean, you're watching your TV at 24 FPS, so 30 is more than enough. If I feel like we need to go 60, I'll do 60. But I always think about people with slow internet connection in some different countries of the world. And having 60 FPS will just make the video file bigger. It's not needed. 60 FPS is not needed. I changed some settings on the camera, so let's see if YouTube is going to render our video properly today or not. 
I'm gonna upload the video anyway. So if you see a lag, just bear with me. It's a trial and error until I figure it out. I do not want to keep you without a video, so I'd rather upload something than nothing. Now we're going to press and hold. And one solder ball escaped. You can run, but you cannot hide. Right, and now we're going to measure it to see if we still have a short after replacing the MOSFET and of course not very nice we're done I'm gonna hand this over to Big Boss to reassemble and test and hopefully the laptop works if the laptop wanna play games and does not wanna work then we're gonna have to inspect further and see what's going on so I'll be back all right, Big Boss reassembled the board and it's a no-go. The charging light, the orange charging light showed up on the laptop for about three seconds and then it went back off and nothing. No signs of life at all. I'm thinking the MOSFET that we replaced went short again. That could either be due to a short on the GPU or it could be something else. Maybe the drivers for the MOSFETs. Let me measure Let me measure, look at this, we have a short again, and probably MOSFET number one. And if we measure in ohms mode, we have the same, actually we have 13.3, and we have 13.5. And this one is good, 272K. And this one, 272K. So as you can see, the MOSFET went short again, causing the first MOSFET to short out also. Right now, it could be our GPU, it could be our VRAM chips, or it could be the drivers on the back of the board. I mean, life without a thermal camera is really difficult. I'm trying to do it without a thermal camera, but I'm starting to run out of patience. Let's go to the back. Let me flip the board. Go to the back here. I'm going to quickly go over the four chips that we have here. I'm going to measure them in diode mode and see if there's any one of them that is different than the other. Random measurements. I do not know the value of each pin in diode mode, but if there's any one of them that is different than the other, that's probably what's causing the problem meter in diode mode and uh, we can start with 0 0.4 0 0.56 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.4 0 0.56 0 0.5 and then 0 0.58 nothing is different than the other 0 0.4 same, right? 0 0.4, 0 0.56, 0 0.5, 0 0.58, 4, 5, 5, 6, 5. So all four chips are measuring the same on the bottom four pins. Same measurements on all the pins on the bottom. Let's do the same for the top. 0 0.42. Ground. Ground. 0 0.44. 0 0.42. Same. The same. So I do not have reason to believe that we have a bad chip here. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe we should go over those as well. 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.53, 0 0.58. 
I'll let you know if there's anything obvious. 0 0.54 and 0 0.58, the same. 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 54, 58. 4, 4, 54, 58. The same. Five feet. Good. And if we measure the top pins, zero point six two. The ground, the ground, and zero point five five. Six two. And we're good. So right now I do not have a reason to believe that we have anything bad from the back here. And I think the GPU or VRAM are probably what's causing the MOSFET to short. And that's it. We're going to deem the laptop in no fix due to possibly a GPU related issue. I hope you enjoyed the video, even though it was a no fix. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments and we'll do something else in the next video.